Good day and welcome to the Broke on YouTube channel. My name is Anami. Today I'm going to show you how to use the block copy and arc copy functions in frame analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Okay, so here I have frame analysis open. And as you can see here, I have a node number one. I generated five extras and my node increment was one and in the x direction I wanted one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six in the x direction every one meters. So let's say I want to copy this in the, in the z direction and I want four of them extra spaced, let's make it two meters apart. So I don't necessarily want to go in the table and type everything out. Frame has a block copy command, which is B. So under node number, you enter B. And then next, I want to enter the line that I want to copy. I want to copy line one. You can see that it's line one. If I go to line one, you can see here at the bottom, it's, it tells you which line it is. So let's say you have a large table filled with a lot of nodes and numbers. Then you can just quickly check then the line number here at the bottom. Okay, so let's say I want to copy line one. The number of extra that I want, I said I want four extra. The node increment is, I ended at six there, and I want to start at seven there. So to get to seven, one plus six is seven. So the node increment is six, and then the Z increment must be two meters, and I press enter. And there you can see I have them spaced at two meters, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it will do them all consecutively. Okay, that's the block copy command. That's quite easy. It's not very difficult. The next command that I want to show is the um, arc generation command. Okay, so the next command that I want to show is the arc um, generation command. With the arc generation, a group of nodes can be repeated on an arc by entering A in the node number column. So let's enter A there and followed by the start and end line numbers. So let's say I just want to create an arc of line one. Okay, so in the X, Y, and Z, um, you will enter the center of your arc. So let's say zero, 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 that's the center. And, and then I will use the X increment, Y increment, or Z increment columns to specify the angle increment about the X, Y, or Z axis, respectively. Okay, so I'll, let's say I want them at 30 degrees around the Y axis. So I'm going to enter 30 there. Okay, and then once again, the number of is the number of that I want to create. So let's say I type in 7. And then my node increment is once again my node increment numbers. So let's say that was six. And then I press enter. Okay, and you can see there that it has created my arc now. So that's the start of it. That's the center of my arc. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I typed in six there. So that's one plus six is seven. Um, if I let I change this to node um, increment to 10, let's just see how the node numbers change. So you'll see that it will now start at 11, 21, 31. So that's 1 plus 10. So that's 1 plus whatever you've entered there. Okay, and, and this angle here will be then 30, 30 degrees. Okay, so that's just a quick way how to use the, the block copy and arc generation commands in frame analysis. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, uh, you can just subscribe to our channel.